So I'm gonna start by demonstrating how to do this between two Apple devices, following Apple's preferred method of using AirDrop. I'll then demonstrate a much easier method for those who don't wanna use AirDrop or for those who are sharing a password with someone that's not using an Apple device. Finally, I'll also demonstrate a quick method to share all of your passwords in one go. For those of you who are looking to share a Wi-Fi password so that someone can connect to your Wi-Fi, well, that's something slightly different and I have a separate video for you guys, which I'll link to. Time tags are in the description below if you wanna skip ahead. So let's get started. So Apple's recommended method for sharing a password with another Apple device is to use AirDrop. Once you've met all of Apple's security requirements, using AirDrop to share a password is quite easy, but there are a few boxes that you need to tick to meet those, to meet those security requirements, which I'll go through in just a sec. However, to share your password on iPhone or iPad, open Settings, scroll down to Passwords, and choose the account that you wish to share. It's then just a matter of tapping on the Share icon and choosing the contact you wish to AirDrop to. That person will then just need to hit accept to receive the password, which will automatically be saved to their keychain. So when they next sign in to the associated website or app, they can use the account details you just sent them. With the release of Mac OS Ventura, it's pretty much the same process on Mac. Open settings, scroll down to passwords, click on the little icon to view the details of the account, and then click share. You can do the same thing from within Safari. Click on Settings in the menu, open the Passwords tab, and click Share. If you don't see the person you wish to send your password to available in AirDrop, regardless of whether you're using an iPhone, iPad, or Mac, it's likely because you haven't met Apple security requirements for using AirDrop to share passwords. First up, AirDrop uses Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so both parties need to be in the same vicinity as each other and must have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled. Next, the person receiving the password needs to be discoverable in AirDrop, which means they need to go into their settings app, choose general, followed by AirDrop, and then choose to either receive from anyone or from contacts only. You also both need to have keychain enabled in your iCloud settings. You can check this by opening settings, clicking on your name, followed by iCloud, and making sure that iCloud passwords and keychain is enabled. Finally, and this is the tricky bit, you both need to have each other listed as a contact on each other's device, and included in the contact details must be the email address that each person uses as their Apple ID. This last requirement is specific for airdropping passwords and isn't necessary if you're just airdropping stuff like photos or files. Once you've met all of Apple's criteria, you should then just see the other person as an option in AirDrop, and you can just tap on their name to send them your password. If all of this seems like too much of a palaver, or the person you wish to send the password to is not in the same room as you, or not on an Apple device, then don't worry, there is a much easier way. And that is to simply go back to your list of passwords in settings, tap on the password you wish to share, and choose copy password. You can then share it using an encrypted messaging app. If you're both using Apple devices, you can send it as a blue iMessage, which is encrypted, but don't send it as a green SMS message, which isn't encrypted. Otherwise, you might opt for something like WhatsApp or Signal, which both use end-to-end -end encryption. The person receiving the password then just needs to simply copy it, log into the website or app that it relates to, and they'll be prompted to save it to their own keychain. You'll probably also need to send them your username or email address for the account. If I then go into settings, you can see that there is the saved account details ready for next time when I want to log in. Finally, if you want to share all of your passwords rather than just one, well, as far as I'm aware, you can only do this on Mac, not on an iPhone or iPad. Again, open up the settings app and choose passwords. And here you'll see a little drop down menu option with the ability to import and export all passwords. Exporting will save all of your passwords into a CSV file, which is unencrypted in plain text. You can view the file in Excel numbers or Google Sheets. Just be wary that it is unencrypted, so be careful where you save it to and how you send it. 
But essentially, the other person can then import your list of passwords into their Mac by choosing import in the same menu and pointing to the file. So that is how to share a password on iPhone, iPad and Mac. If you're wondering what the timer was in the top right corner, well, on this channel, I aim to get straight to the point, giving you just the facts without any extra fluff. If that's something you appreciate, then please do give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tutorials on all your favorite apps and devices. And you might also be interested in learning how to get the most out of the workout app on your Apple Watch or how pass keys are set to replace all of our passwords. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.